So the next theorem that we are going to prove is that uh, ZP is a field. So now what will be our strategy is I will first try to show that uh, ZP is integral domain. I'll try to show that ZP is integral domain and then I will show that ZP is a field. So if I want to show that ZP is integral domain, I will say that let A, A and B belong to P, let A and B belong to ZP and let a into b be equal to 0 then in that case i have to show that either a is 0 or b is 0 so if i want to show that a is 0 or b is 0 what strategy i will say uh, i will take is that i will again assume that a is non zero i will again assume that a is non zero in that case i have to now show that b has to be equal to how much b has to be equal to 0 this is this will be our standard strategy to prove an integral domain you take a b equal to 0 and you assume that a is not 0 then you must prove that b is equal to 0 okay now a is non zero and uh, so a is non zero okay and uh, p is a prime number p is a prime number and we know that uh, in uh, so so where is a so a is in zp a is an element in zp this means in zp we have elements 0 bar 1 bar up to p minus 1 bar correct so a is one of the elements over here a is somewhere here right so what can i say about a this clearly means that a is less than p correct a can be either 1 2 3 a cannot be 0 a cannot be 0 because i have taken that a is not equal to 0 so means a has to be either 1 bar 2 bar or p minus 1 a cannot be p right because a is not equal to 0 so a is a number which is not less a is a number which is less than prime number and this means that this prime number cannot divide a correct because prime number is larger than a right so if the prime number cannot divide a then what can we say about the gcd of the prime number and a if you have a prime number which does not divide a then the gcd of the two numbers has to be equal to one this is a very standard fact and once i know that gcd of prime number and a is equal to one I can now apply a Euclidean algorithm and what does the Euclidean algorithm say? The Euclidean algorithm says that one can be written as a linear combination of the two numbers, the linear combination of two numbers P and A. That is one can be written as, so let me erase this. So one can be written as what? M times P plus N times A means one can be written as a linear combination of the prime number and A. Now I will multiply both sides by B. See, I have not used B anywhere right now. Multiply both sides by B. So when I multiply both sides by B, I will get B is equal to B into M into P plus N into A into B. Correct. So I multiply both sides by B. But I know something about AB. What I know something about AB. What is our assumption? See all of you. What is the assumption? I know that a into b is how much? a into b is equal to 0. So that a into b I will substitute as 0. So this gives me that b is equal to b into m into p. Correct? So b is equal to b into m into p. In what? What are we working in? We are working in the set zp. And we know that in zp, P is 0. So we finally get that P is nothing but B into M into 0. So what must be B equal to? So B must be equal to 0. And this is what we wanted to prove. Right? This is what we wanted to prove. So we assume that A, B is 0. And we also assume that A is non-zero. And we have proved that B is equal to 0. Two things we have used here, important things. That if a prime number does not divide a uh, a number then the gcd of the prime number and that number is one and second important thing is that 
that dcd can be expressed as a linear combination of the given two numbers and this is the way we have proved this that zp is integral domain zp is integral domain and what do you know about zp zp has only p elements zp contains only p elements 0 bar 1 bar up to p minus 1 means zp is integral domain and finite because it contains only p elements and we know that any finite integral domain is what is the field and therefore we have proved that if p is a prime number then zp is the field 